Hello Mzansi, welcome back to another tea break. In today's video, I will be sharing the story of Rihitlile Kaseho Machani. But before we go into it, please be advised that I mean no harm, no disrespect to anyone involved in this case. This video is only for educational purposes and all information has been collected from different sources. Please do not forget to comment, share, and like the video so that it can reach more people. Rihit Lile Katleho Majane was born in 1983, and in 2012, she got married to a well-known psychiatrist, Dr. Maxwell Majane. They had three children together, two sons and a baby girl. Just like her husband, Mrs. Majane is highly educated with an MBA in Finance and Sustainability from the University of Cumbria in England through distance learning. She also holds a National Diploma in Engineering Computer Systems and a BTEC in Information Systems and Technology, both from the Twane University of Technology. She also completed a program in Business Management at the University of South Africa and holds an advanced certificate in business analysis, analysis from the University of Pretoria. She worked for her husband in his practice, but before this, she held the position of Director of Justice and Constitutional Development, as well as Specialist Process Engineering and Business Analysis for the South African Revenue Service. They jointly owned properties, and according to the couple, they had a stable and happy marriage. They loved their children, and Mrs. Machane was a loving and caring mother. Their children were also loved by everyone and attended well-known good schools. On the morning of the 17th of April 2015, the couple had an argument concerning a certain variation to the building plans of a new home they were building, which Mrs. Majane acted as a project manager, and she found this project stressful. Mr. Majane made a remark during this argument, which took Mrs. Majane off. He said that he will build the house, but let her live alone in that house with her children. Mrs. Majane had been for a long time suffered of migraine headaches, and on that day, she was in a different mood and she actually thought of taking her life. On that morning, Mrs. Majane dropped the kids at school. And when she got home, her husband was not home for breakfast as they would have breakfast together. She called him and he said he was at a building supply shop. Later that day, Mrs. Majane picked the boys from school that is, the boys' names were Alvero, who was two years old at the time, and Kiondra, who was six years old at the time. According to Mrs. Majane, at about lunchtime, she had a strong desire to take her life, such that she fetched her husband's firearm, which was normally loaded with five bullets, from the safe and sat in the car crying. She says that she decided against taking her own life and went for lunch and had a glass of red wine and went to pick the boys from school. Mr. Majane was of the view that on that day and the two preceding days and even before that, his wife was just moody and simply felt irritated because of her physical condition at the time as she had not been clinically depressed before. Mrs. Majane then drove to a certain air spot near woman style defense force base with the boys when she got there mrs majani shot her two boys to death on their heads she started with the young one alvero who was sitting at the front seat she shot him on the side of his head when the old one who was seated at the back noticed this he tried to run out of the car but she managed to shoot him twice in the forehead and in the lower right arm. Now, Mrs. Majani was actually facing and looking at her children when she did all this. Now, Mrs. Majani told the court that the primary objective was to take her own life, but then she decided to start with the children 
so as not to leave them behind alone in the world after she had taken her own life. She says that she noticed that the gun had no bullets, which meant she could not take her own life. After shooting her sons, she ran to a nearby house for help. She asked a woman to call her mother and her husband and even supplied their numbers. Mrs. Majani asked one of the police, Captain Muhaba, who arrived at the scene, to shoot her as she also planned to take her life. She ran to her and said, I killed my children. Please kill me too. I want to rest with my children. When the police officer asked why she killed her children, she said, I have suffered for 12 years. Rather, I have struggled for 12 years in my marriage. Her husband arrived on the scene and spoke calmly with his wife. The following day, he fetched the blood-stained car to have it washed. According to the officer, Mrs. Majane spoke in a normal and a coherent manner. Mrs. Majane said she has no recollection of shooting her two children and pleaded not guilty to taking her children's lives. She said she had taken medication for a tight chest, a migraine and menstruation pain, and had extreme suicidal thoughts before the incident, just after taking the medication. So according to her, she had all these thoughts because of the medication. The judge rejected her defense and found her guilty of taking her children's life, even though the court did find her to be remorseful of her actions. Mr. Majani continued to support his wife and stated that he loved and supported her despite her wrongdoings. He had deep affection for her and maintained that she acted totally out of character. In 2017, during her trial, they had their last born, a baby girl. However, on the 3rd of August, 2018, Rihit Lile Majane was sentenced to two life imprisonment for the murder of her two children, five years for the unlawful possession of a firearm, one year imprisonment for the unlawful possession of ammunition. Mr. Majane is said to be taking care of their baby girl with the assistance of Mrs. Majane's mom. Namzanzi, that brings us to the end of today's case. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you on my next video.